Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Here is an inside out guide to crack NEET SS nephrology. Obviously, the simplest thing is to know everything, but since that's very difficult, let's discuss some tips and tricks to get the best possible result. Obviously, one size won't fit all, so you have to tailor according to your own style. So let's know about our exam first. NEET SS is a 100 question examination with part A and part B. Part A has 40 questions from FIDO specialities, which in the case of nephrology is from medicine and pediatrics. And 60 questions are going to conform part B, which has core nephrology questions. For every correct answer, we get plus four, and for every wrong answer, we get minus one. So here's a tabular column, which shows us the rank and score of people in the NEET SS 2020 examination for nephrology. So you can see that rank one has got 350, rank three has 336, rank 5 has 324 and so on. So I feel that we all have to aim to get into the top 50 at least. And for that, I feel the magic number is going to be 80. We need 80 correct answers to achieve that magic number. Imagine you're attempting all 100 questions and you get 80 right. It means 320. And even if you get all the 20 wrong, you end up with a score of 300, which is the score for somebody with a rank 50. Now, this trend is same for 2019 as, as well and it's likely to hold up. So 80 is your magic number. So the importance of correct answer is that so you need maximum correct answers and the magic number is 80. At the same time, negative answers are also very important. Imagine you get 80 correct, you get 12 wrong and then leave the other 8. Your score is obviously going to be more than 300 and your rank is going to go up. Okay, even for a 10 mark, 9 mark difference, you have a difference in rank of 25. And as you go down, the crowd starts and you get lost in the crowd. This is a screenshot from the NEET SS 2020 prospectus and it gives a clear idea about the importance of negative marking. In case of a tie, which is a very common occurrence in our examination, candidates having a lesser number of negative responses in the overall paper are given a higher merit position. And that apart, the fact that we have to focus all our energy and time on part B preparation that is our speciality preparation is very clearly mentioned in that candidates having a higher score in part B and lesser negatives in part B are given a greater merit position. So the other important question that crops up in the minds of NEET SS aspirants is how to go about studying for part A and part B. Let's discuss about part A preparation. So NEET SS 2020 the prospectus has clearly told that all the questions are going to be at PG exit level. So this is enough reason for us to base our part A preparation on Harrison's 20th edition. So how do you prepare from Harrison? You have to go through the diagrams, the tabular columns and the algorithms. So we have to use our available time, whatever we have allotted for part A to learn the diagrams with their footnotes, the text below the diagrams, the tabular columns and algorithms. This method will definitely give you at least somewhere around 30 marks in part A. And the rest of the time, the maximum amount of time you have to focus on your part B preparation. So how do you prepare for your part B? You have three resources that you have to use for nephrology, Harrison's, Fihali and Kedigo. So off late, the trend has been changing a little bit and you are getting more number of questions from the speciality textbook that is Fihali. Okay. So, but the first step I feel is to read the nephrology part in Harrison at least three times before moving on to Fihali. Fihali also, it's great if you can cover three times or at least a single reading would do for NEET SS. And KDGO, you have to be familiar with the latest recommendations. What are the differences between NEET and Central Institute examinations? The questions in Central Institute examinations tend to have a little more in-depth understanding of the subject and NEET SS questions are slightly more easier. And I've always felt that NEET SS many questions are answerable with knowledge from Harrison, whereas Central Institute examinations definitely need a reading of Fee Halley. So Fee Halley 
needs greater attention for somebody who wants to crack Ames PJ Jipmer, whereas Harrison and Fihali equally for somebody who wants to crack the NEET SS examination. Okay, and these are the topics in nephrology an overview of the topics. So, basics means embryology, anat, physiology, fluids, and electrolytes. Okay, so there is no one particular topic which is more important than the other. I believe that there is equal representation in every question paper from all these areas, but at the same time, I just want to highlight one or two things. For example, stones and urinary tract obstruction, it is a very simple chapter to cover, be it from Harrison or Fihali and compulsory one or two questions are going to come from there. So it may be useful, especially for people who have lesser time towards the examination to focus on such high yield areas. The maximum yield is from glomerular diseases simply because there are so many uh, glomerular diseases and the scope for asking questions are much more. Okay, But otherwise, there is no single topic which is more important than the other and you have to pay equal attention to all the topics. So the method of learning. So each one has their own style of uh, preparing for an examination, but there are two basic phenotypes, yeah, two personalities, one set of people who like to read the text, make notes and then revise to become ready for the examination. Okay, In between, they would like to do MCQ tests. So this is the most common phenotype I would like to believe. And then there are other people who like to base their entire preparation on solving MCQs okay and then getting ready for the examination so whatever is your method it is your choice I am personally a fan of the first method but regardless of the method that you use revision is key without revision failure is guaranteed the most important component of cracking any examination is revision Somebody who reads one textbook three times is going to get a better mark and a better rank than somebody who's read two textbooks just once. So all the best. Hope this video was useful. Apart from that, we have two things coming up your way. One is high yield nephrology notes, which has all the important areas of Fihali in the most concise yet most comprehensive manner, useful for Anybody who wants to read Fihali quickly or revise Fihali quickly can make use of the high yield nephrology notes. We are also including four grand tests so that you can evaluate yourself. Also, there is an MCQ bank on the search test app. The links are given in the description of the video and it has a 1200 MCQ bank based on Harrison and Fihali. Particular attention has been made to make